Mike, uh, we're delighted to announce uh, a fourth ambassador to join us uh, with the news Darren Burnett uh, is now uh, part of the club. Uh, your thoughts on that? Brilliant, fantastic. It's something we've been speaking about for, for quite a, a, a period. Well, obviously the two initial ambassadors um, and an Alan Suter uh, came in uh, a couple of weeks ago and we've always had in mind because Darren is a great supporter of the club. He's, a, he's obviously uh, a fantastic athlete um, and for many years has brought our growths um, you know, on the map. Uh, with the ball and, and um, I know his family have been great supporters and his dad was a, a great supporter of the club uh, and, 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 and Darren is, is, is also and his, and his girls as well so it's it's great that you know we thought we'd, as we're broadening um, the club a wee bit that we're going to bring in more ambassadors and certainly Darren was, uh, was foremost in our mind so I'm delighted that Darren has uh, accepted um, the offer to be ambassador of the club. Darren, you've had a, a, a wonderful career uh, to date, uh, hopefully more to come in the future. Uh, you've put our growth on the map countless times with the, the, the Bulls. Uh, where does this rank now in your career now joining uh, as an official ambassador of the football club? You know, it's, it's a great honour. You know, I think you, you go out there in your own sport and you, you try and do the, the best you can and, and that's all I've ever tried to do. You know, I've been lucky enough to have you know, a fair bit of success across the world in, in my sport, but it's, it's these type of things that, that make it extra special. You know, uh, the club are, are in a great place. You know, I come here, gladly watch them on a Saturday, you know, the, the atmosphere, the buzz around the town, you know, it's such a it's such a community club, you know, and, you know, if I ever had a vision for the club, you know, that's exactly where I would have liked it to have been. And, you know, I think you've reached that and, and beyond, you know, so, you know, I know my girls, you know, the, the girls I, you know, I train at football, you know, they all love coming down now and there is just this absolute great buzz around the town. So, you know, to be part of that in any way, shape or form is, is a great honour, you know, and, and hopefully I can do the club justice as uh, the new stuff. Sure you can, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and what's next for the Darren Burnett story? You've, you know, you've written so many wonderful chapters in your career, uh, going into the next couple of years, what's next for you? Yeah, well obviously we have we have Commonwealth Games next year, we have a, a squad and the, the team will be finalised in the next few weeks I think, so you know it's fingers crossed time, we've, we've done all we can as as players, you know, and it's now up to a selection panel to decide who's going to that, so you know that would be a, an amazing achievement, if I could get there it would be my sixth Commonwealth Games down in Birmingham, so I started many years ago in Manchester and it would be really nice to, to make Birmingham, it would be kind of a right worldwide site, site circle to, to get back there, so that's that's obviously a priority and, and hopefully I've done enough for that and then we have the World Championships at the start of the year. So I missed that last year with the injury to my arm, so I'm looking forward to getting back to the World Championships down at Potters, so two big events hopefully on the horizon. Well you've got the full weight of the Arbroath support and football club behind you and that. Welcome to the club Dan, look forward to seeing you around Gayfields with more text to come. Thanks very much.